Solstice Shrine. Welcome back to my very first Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We are still a little ways off the beaten path because we wanted to do some extra stuff, but we will get back to it. But before we do, just want to say that if you are enjoying this Let's Play or the channel, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And for those of you who just did, thank you very much. And for the rest of you, super cool to stick around for the adventure anyway, of course. And as per usual, while game playing, I will not be uh, chit-chatting, just information and dialogue. Let's do it. Darrow, thank for helping me to find a worthwhile muse. Here, this is the least I can offer. Found one rainbow conch. Today is a me day. Jungle path. Watcher Island. The hidden city of the Dukari should be somewhere beyond this jungle. We got the coral hammer. Let's do this. Jungle path.
That will really turn things around for Moraine. Hmm. I still can't believe we have our own ship now. This is awesome. Hey, wanna hear a story? No, oh, thank you. Time to cook. And that's how you do it. Round one, Sapphire Ore. Found one to carry armor.
mural depicts some kind of curse involving a flower. Got stone tablet piece. Teeks might get a story from this. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlock, the Vampire Rose. Hey, wanna hear a story? Yes, please. Which one? The Vampire Rose. Teeks. There once was a botanist who attempted to Trick death by growing a rose so pretty she couldn't bear to reap it. Smitten, death spiraled into confusion as she appreciated the beauty of life for the very first time. Whether her next action was fueled by jealous rage or opportunistic guile, no one really knows. Using wicked magic, she turned the flower into something even more beautiful, but very cursed indeed. The Vampire Rose thing of beckoning beauty, compelling all who lay eyes upon it to willingly take part in their own corruption. Rumors of the magical rose reached all corners of the world, carrying a simple promise. A promise few could resist, eternal life, provided they could take it. Despite the elation offered by the initial touch, the price became apparent all too quickly. For every second spent holding the vampire rose, a year would be added to one's lifespan. But for every borrowed year, a thorn would grow on one of their bones. Stories say that of all the people who touched the vampire rose, most realized their mistake instantly. Having extended their lives, but by a single year, they'd release their grip and live on only with a very painful reminder felt in their every move. But there were others unable to stop themselves and became what few would describe as human or even alive. Though it is unclear whether the vampire rose yet exists, everyone agrees on one thing. It appears that in the end, death always gets the last laugh in the faces of those foolish enough to try and cheat her. The end.
campfire feels cozy and warm. You! One, now, now, let us talk. There is no need for you to see this errand through. What's the matter? Getting scared? My, aren't we feisty? We do not have to quarrel. Simply hand over the coral hammer and we will be on our way. Come and get it then. Three. Commence!
So rice, ultimate attack. Level up. One mana point. Three magic defense. Eight hit points. Three physical defense. Eight hit points. Two magic attack. Two physical attack. One mana point. Two magic attack, three physical defense, two physical attack, eight hit points. Eight hit points, one mana point, two magic attack, three magic defense. It seems this round is yours. Savor it. The next time we meet will be the last. And I think this might be the place where we end up this part. See you soon. Thank you all for coming along in my Let's Play of Sea of Stars. I hope you are having as much fun as I am. If you are, I would love to hit those like subscribe buttons. And if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.